Good day everyone. Milan, it's iconic Duomo di Milano, on the south side the Museo del Novecento. The Cathedral Basilica of the Nativity of St. Mary is the largest church in Italy. The larger St. Peter's Basilica is in the state of Vatican City, and the second largest in Europe, and the third largest in the world. On the north side of the Duomo Square, Piazza Duomo, the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II. On the square there is a monument to Vittorio Emanuele. He became the first king of the United Italy in 1861. He is known as the father of the fatherland, Padre della Patria. I cannot see much of his face under the hat and behind his tremendous moustache. But the horse looks very much stressed. King or no king, nowadays Vittori would be heavily criticized for mistreating his horse. Or maybe the horse is looking at the crowds of tourists and gets spooked. Before going to the Duomo, let's have a look at the shopping mall. After all, the credit card is very safe in the deposit box at the hotel. The place is actually very elegant, pleasant, beautiful buildings with these glass-covered arches. Fancy shops, names that even I have heard of, Mind you, few people carrying bags. There are as well restaurants and cafes just to sit down, relax and enjoy the experience. The mosaic floors are splendid. Here, representing Rome, is the she-wolf together with Romulus and Remus. As for Turin, a little dancing bull or il Torino. The legend says that touching the little Torino mosaic brings good fortune. Just spin around three times with your heel on the bull's uh, spectacles with <laughs> results guaranteed. Let's move to serious things in the cathedral. It took nearly six centuries to complete the cathedral, starting in 1386, and the final details were completed in 1965. It seems that uh, this is plastered ceiling, painted to imitate elaborate carved stone. And they have water damage. Hmm. Massive columns, it seems 40 of them with elaborate sculptures around them, on top. Some details of statues and ornaments. Large stained glass windows. With all the stories, religious happenings. One could stay hours following the sequences ending up with a massive pain in the neck, unfortunately. As always, some friendly attack planting a dagger in a maid's throat, all in the name of religious beliefs. And here, Saint Bartolome who got skinned alive, he is depicted uh, here carrying his own skin, not a piece of fabric. He was decapitated afterwards just to make sure he died. After these charming sequences, let's move to yet another church, Santa Maria near San Satire. It is a few blocks away from the Duomo. Modern buildings were built just literally against the church. 
The original church was dedicated to St. Satyrus of Milan. The church was redesigned and rebuilt in the 15th century by the engineer Giovanni Antonio Amadeo. But the main design of the perspective paintings in the sacristy and the choir were accredited to Donato Bramante. This is the first recorded example of the technique so-called trompe l'oeil. I think it's all very beautiful and evidently not too many people know about it. There was nobody around. A closer look at the choir, only 90 centimeters deep, the shrine of Saint Satire, nicely decorated columns, some frescoes, very damaged and not restored evidently. For the artist, of course, he has a sacristy built for him. Very nice, pleasant feeling. And even though it is quite small, it gives the impression of being grandiose. Good, we move away from churches and go see something we all have heard about. Teatro a la Scala. This is it. To be honest, I expected something on a much larger scale. Next to it, even though it says Banca Comerciale Italiana, it is the Gallery d'Italia for contemporary Italian art. We are on the Piazza della Scala with a statue of Leonardo da Vinci. Talking about Leonardo, of course we have to mention his well-known Last Supper painting in the convent Santa Maria delle Grazie. It is said that there are 20? I don't think so. Let's say many things to do in Milan. There are numerous museums, galleries, expositions, sites, castles, famous sculptures, well, uh, as I said, many things to do. But I will stop here for now, you have been very patient, and uh, this last one, the Certosa, is not about an old wagon. Join me for the next video to see what it's all about. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.